ad hominem fallacy. The ad hominem fallacy happens when someone attempts to discredit someone's argument with personal attacks rather than the substance of the <laughs> he argument. He changed it on his wife three times. We can't listen to him. He's an asshole. Argument itself. Continue. Hasty generalization. Hasty generalization, also known as the overgeneralization fallacy, happens when making a claim based on evidence that is just too small. My grandpa's red herring like fallacy. That. <laughs> a red. Bro, so many people live by this one. Based on evidence. Nah, my grandpa, he's okay when he did it. Nah, he slept with 100 women, no condom. And he, he, he planned to have my dad, you know, it's okay. It's just too small. Yeah, no, red yeah, herring no. fallacy. A red herring is something that misleads or distracts from a relevant or important question. It might be used I to can't, change the but we still provide great benefits for us. Subject. To quoque fallacy. Like to that. quoque is a technique that intends to discredit the opponent's argument by attacking the opponent's own personal behavior and actions as being inconsistent with their argument. But Therefore, you don't exercise using either. hypocrisy instead of yeah, shut your the ass up. Argument. You don't even practice Slippery what you preach. Slope fallacy. In a slippery slope uh, argument, the course the of action industry. is rejected because, with little or no evidence, one insists that uh, it will lead to a chain reaction resulting in an undesirable end or ends. Well, if you do it all the way, isn't that called uh, catastrophizing? C c catastrophizing, right? So slippery slope and catastrophizing, I'm guessing, is the same thing? Special pleading fallacy. Special pleading happens when applying standards, principles, or rules to other people or circumstances while making oneself or certain circumstances exempt from the same critical criteria without providing adequate justification. But he's a good loaded kid. Question. <laughs> a loaded question is a question that already contains an assumption. Mm. False dilemma fallacy. The false dilemma fallacy, also called the black and white fallacy, occurs when someone misrepresents an issue by offering only two options when more exists, more or exists. by presenting yeah, the yeah, options yeah. as mutually exclusive when they are not. Strawman fallacy. A strawman fallacy happens when one rebuts an argument by misconstruing it. Circular reasoning. <laughs> A strawman fallacy. <laughs> we should relax the laws on beer. When one rebuts an so you're saying you want everybody to be an alcoholic, bro. This is the internet, bro. <laughs> this is the internet, bro. You say one little thing like, oh, we should limit guns. Oh, so you want people to just go ahead and shoot up every school in the world. Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, okay. Argument like, this is the internet. They, this Circular is the reasoning. The circular reasoning fallacy is an argument that assumes the very thing it is trying to prove is true. It's Instead of offering evidence, it simply Why? repeats the because conclusion, it is. rendering the argument <laughs> logically This is what your parents use. Appeal to authority <laughs> fallacy. It is a form of argument in which the mere the fact that an red. influential figure holds a certain position Dr. is used Mark as told. evidence that the position itself is correct. Okay. Appeal to nature oh. fallacy. It's an argument in which it is proposed that a thing is good because it is natural or bad that's, because it is unnatural. No, no, it's no, a fallacy it because the unstated primary premise, what is natural is good, no. is typically irrelevant no. in an opinion no. instead yeah, of a fact. No. Composition no, fallacy. Shit, it arises when one infers that something is true of the whole from the fact that it is true of some Must part be, of the whole. Bro, oh my. <laughs> Bro, no, I even better example, perfect example that like everybody just, everybody just want to act like this one doesn't exist, bro. Okay, I have a hamburger and if I take the cheese off of it, all of a sudden it's way more healthy. Like, no, no, like the cheese, the grease that's in the beef, no, nah, man, that's protein. You know, there's lettuce and tomato on it, so obviously it's a salad, right? So burgers or salads, just take the cheese off and it's healthy. That's, there it is. That, that's what you Division need to compare fallacy. it to. The division fallacy occurs when one reasons that something that is true for a whole must metal. also be true Let's... for all or some of its parts. It's the inverse the of the other one. Okay. Affirming the consequent is the fallacy of taking a true conditional statement, such right. as, if the lamp were broken, then the room would be dark, under certain assumptions like, it is nighttime and the yeah, windows are closed, yeah, yeah. and invalidly inferring its converse, the room is dark so the lamp must be broken. Wow. Anecdotal okay. fallacy. The anecdotal fallacy. I like this one because this is dark. Um, a lot of people do make assumptions whenever they're doing anything. It's like they they say, "Oh, this is equal to this," but it's like there's more things that go inside of it. Like this is basically, in my opinion, it's like the same one. It's like you're looking at some type of news source where someone says they're guilty or they're innocent, and they go based off what like just what's given as evidence. But there's other things that are outside of the evidence that you could technically put into the situation so the lamp must be broken anecdotal fallacy the anecdotal fallacy occurs when people use their limited personal so college is a waste of time conclusions about a given topic appeal to emotion fallacy hey man i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie hey <laughs> 
hey, hey, he got that dog in him. There it is. To draw hey, sweet. He, this guy ain't necessarily wrong. He ain't right either. But hey, conclusions I like this one. topic. Appeal to emotion fallacy. It's a technique characterized by the, the manipulation of the other person's emotions in order to win an argument, especially in the absence of factual <laughs> evidence. Burden of proof Women fallacy. The burden of proof lies with the one who makes a claim, are red. not the I one who believe. denies it. The burden of proof fallacy happens when a person tries to remove their need to provide proof for many reasons. No true Scotsman fallacy. It's an attempt to defend a generalization of a certain group by excluding any counterexamples for not being pure enough. Texas sharpshooter okay. fallacy. The Texas sharpshooter fallacy takes its name from the metaphor of a gunman shooting and then drawing targets around the bullet hole clusters to make <laughs> it look like he hit the target. It illustrates how people first okay. figure out what their conclusion is and then, and then go they look figure at the it data out. that supports yeah, it. Yeah, ignoring yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. People do this a lot on the internet as well, bro. This shit's crazy. Yeah, he's guilty. Ah, uh, he beat his wife. Oh, are you sure he died? Ah, well, he did it. Well, well, this shows it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, suppressed yeah, yeah. correlative. We can see how that the attempt work. to redefine one of two mutually exclusive options so that one alternative encompasses the other, thus making one alternative impossible. Something like, I need to know if we should stop for lunch or not. You are either hungry or not hungry, which is it? If being hungry means being able to eat, I am always hungry. Personal incredulity it fallacy. It's committed when the arguer presumes that whatever is true must be easy to understand or to imagine. Ambiguity fallacy. It happens when an unclear phrase with multiple definitions is used within the argument. Therefore, it does oh not Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, this is how you <clears throat> This is how you get those uh those those power scaling videos on YouTube, bro. Conclusion. Yeah, this guy beat this guy, but this guy can beat this guy, so technically this guy can beat him even though this guy's weaker than this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genetic fallacy. Yeah, the genetic fallacy yeah. is the act of rejecting or accepting an argument solely on the basis of its origin rather than its content. Middle ground well, fallacy. Shit. It's the fallacy that the truth is always in the middle of two opposites. Affirming a disjunct. The affirming a disjunct fallacy occurs when, given an either-or scenario, you wrongly assume that if one statement or outcome is true, the other one cannot be true. No, that could be both. to tradition. It happens when we ignore the evidence that we should change because we have been doing something for a long time. Sunk. Those are the, those are the boomers. Those are the real boomers, not me. It happens when we ignore Some the evidence. Some reason people call me a fucking boomer, but yeah. That we should change because we have been doing something. We've been doing this all of our lives. Why change it now? Something for a long time. It's been working for generations. You know, it's not like humans evolve or anything. Sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, now this one, now this one, bro, this one is hard. This one is hard. The sunk cost fallacy, bro, the sunk cost fallacy will get you. Out of all of these, this is the one that will probably get like 99% of people, bro. Just because you put some money into it does not necessarily mean you have to stick to it. Yeah, you lost some money, but you could lose way more if you just keep on going, bro. Then the whole, oh, 90% of gamblers quit before they win. It's some bullshit. Sunk cost fallacy is our tendency to continue with something we've invested money, effort, or time into, even if the current costs outweigh the benefits. Don't do it. it ain't Appeal worth to it. ignorance. It happens when someone asserts that a proposition is true because it has not yet been proven false, or that a proposition is false because it has not yet been proven true. Continuum fallacy. Okay. It's the <laughs> argument that two states or conditions cannot be considered distinct or do not exist at all because between them there exists a continuum of states. Equivocation. What is considered hot? What is what is considered cold? I mean, damn it! Don't it come down to like personal? Because between them, there exists a. And this like personal, like some people be like, "This is cold," and then some people be like, "Yeah, this is cold." You know. Continuum of states. Mm -hmm. Equivocation. The equivocation fallacy refers to the use of an ambiguous word or phrase in more than one sense within the same argument. Oh my God. Faulty analogy. A faulty analogy is saying that two things are alike in other ways just because they are alike in one way. <laughs> Denying the antecedent. Salads and burgers. Okay. Denying the antecedent infers the inverse from an original statement. It's something like, if you are a ski instructor, then you have a job. You are not a ski instructor, therefore you have no job. False cause. A false cause fallacy occurs Virtual when ass. someone incorrectly <laughs> assumes that something causes something else without enough proof, usually using just a correlation as proof. Definist fallacy. It happens when one defines a term in such a way that makes one's position much easier to defend. Ecological fallacy. Ecological fallacies assume what is true for a population is true for the individual members of that population. Etymological fallacy. What the hell? Etymological fallacy is the faulty argument that the true meaning of a word is its oldest or original meaning. 
quoting out of context. Okay. <laughs> it's a fallacy in which a passage from a quote is removed from its surrounding matter in such a way as to distort its intended meaning. Con like blood is thicker than water. Everybody's just like, yeah, family is everything in the world. But it's like the full thing says the opposite. Talks about more importantly, the friends you decide to have are more important than family you're just born with. Context which maybe. makes more sense when it comes down to like real life. Like, yeah. You were born with your cousin, but your cousin also slept with your ex-wife while she was still your current wife versus this guy I met last week that gave me five hundred thousand dollars and said, let's go uh, play pool the next week. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> intentionally, you know, it, false it ain't always the it's same. a fallacy in which an equivalence is drawn between two subjects based on flawed or false reasoning. What the fuck? <laughs> Historian's fallacy. The historian's fallacy occurs when one assumes that decision makers in the past viewed events from the same perspective and had the same information as those subsequently analyzing the decision. Yeah, well, Inflation I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Historian's fallacy is also like subject to like hindsight, right? Conflict. Inflation. It's the error of exaggerating the amount of disagreement in a field in order to invalidate claims in that field. Incomplete comparison. Bro, it's it's, it, he's that one guy. Agreement in a field in order to invalidate claims. In so we have no idea. Incomplete comparison. It's a misleading argument popular in advertising. More. Since the assertion then is who? incomplete, it cannot be refuted. Ludic fallacy. <laughs> Basque NBA were the world champions. Popular in advertising. Champions Since of what? Since the assertion world? is incomplete, America? it cannot be refuted. Ludic yeah, fallacy. Yeah, yeah. It's a term used to describe how people mistake the kind of uncertainty found in games for the kind of uncertainty found in real life. For example, organized competitive fighting trains the athlete oh, to focus. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. People think because like you're you're a trainer or you're a professional fighter, you can win in like any street fight. No, street fight and like every real fighter will let you know, bro. A street fight and like sparring or actual fighting in like a championship boxing match is not the same thing, my guy on the game and, in order not to dissipate his concentration, to ignore the possibility of what is yeah. not specifically allowed by the rules. Yeah. Moralistic fallacy. Making statements about what is, on the basis of claims about mm. what ought to be, in violation of fact-value distinction. Nirvana fallacy. Comparing a realistic solution with an idealized one and discounting or even dismissing the realistic <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 solution yeah, yeah. as a result of comparing it to a perfect world or impossible standard. Proof by assertion. It's a fallacy in which a proposition is repeatedly restated, regardless of contradiction and repetition. You just keep saying it. You the just keep saying can sometimes And this is literally how some people win whatever it is that, that it, whether it's politics or whatever. Like, you just keep saying the same thing loud enough and people listen. ...be repeated until any challenges KW, or opposition KW, cease, Potters. letting the proponent assert it as fact solely due to a lack of challengers. Cherry picking. It's the act of pointing to individual cases or data that seem to confirm a particular position while ignoring a significant portion <laughs> of related and similar cases. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I, th that's good, bro. Buy the dip. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, if, if, if anything, you should look at this and be like, wow, they had steady growth and then they fell off a cliff. Let's see why. Oh, 2020. Oh, well, let's go ahead and buy this. Oh, look, the money's back up. Crazy how that happened. That's This is me. As soon as 2020 happened, I started buying so many stocks. Ooh, man. Or data that may Get contradict that it. position. Psychologist's fallacy. It's a fallacy that occurs when an observer assumes that his or her subjective experience reflects yeah, subjective the true nature experience. of an event. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the people that are like... Observer assumes that his or her subjective... <sighs> These are the people that play uh, video games uh, all the time, like a specific game competitively or seriously online. Let's take like the World of Warcraft... Uh, like the World of Warcraft, they're they're actually the perfect example because World of Warcraft is what 15, 16, 17 years old, right? It's an old ass game. So if you've been playing it for that long since like launch through Classic, through the uh, Burning Crusade and all that, all the way, and you're uh, still a current player for some reason, especially if you're still sub to uh, what, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called where it's like normal, but um, retail. So if you're still subscribed to retail WoW and you've been there since the beginning of WoW, um, for people to be like, retail well is not hard. You have to do this, this, this. It's so simple. It's like, yeah, bro, you've been playing the game for 10 plus years. Of course you think it's easier. But really getting into uh, getting into um, retail World of Warcraft is, is difficult due to the fact that you have to put a whole bunch of extra shit on your computer just to run it efficiently, right? Versus classic WoW, which is more old school and you know, this, the shit people grew up on, so they decided to go back to it, right? But 
even then they started adding stuff like Blizzard added like the store mounts and all this. And I only know all this because I just watch you guys on the internet, like Asmin and uh, all these other people. I can't remember off the top of my head besides Asmin, but yeah. Uh, and I go watch the Twitch streams. I used to actually watch the wild Twitch streamers a lot back in the day before, like in like 2017, 2016. I believe it was when I was watching World of Warcraft frequently was around Warlords of Draenor. So whenever the fuck that was, that's when I was kind of watching WoW uh, and Shadow, Shadow, War, Shadow, some Shadowlands or some shit like that. Yeah. Experience Those are the days. This, is the, of an this is the people that's been playing fucking retail. And this is someone that gets into the game two months ago and they're complaining about how hard the game is. Event. Reification fallacy. It happens when an abstract concept is treated as if it were a concrete real event. Something like saying that evolution selects which traits are passed on to future generations, while evolution is not a conscious entity with which yeah, it's just a thing that happens. determinism. <laughs> it's the thought that because something happened under some circumstances, it was therefore bound to happen due to those circumstances. Thought terminating cliche. Ah! So when Julius Caesar, he said, I'm a dictator, he was going to get assassinated. Well, I mean, I feel like anybody in any political power, once you decide to get into politics, like that's something you open the window to. Like, so say if you're a normal person working a normal job, the chances of you just like specifically being targeted, targeted and assassinated is like. I, like who was coming after you right versus any politician that has money and stuff like that and is in a public figure in a public eye like the window slowly gets bigger and bigger and then it's like dictator a lot of people want you dead even in your own country right so yeah i mean i, I feel like once you get into politics in general that window just naturally opens up bound to happen due to those circumstances thought terminating cliche think it's about it the more the bro the more rich and not more rich but like the more uh influence you have on the world it's like the less likely you are to die of natural causes bro it was therefore bound to happen due to those circumstances thought terminating cliche it's a form of loaded language often passing as folk wisdom if it with ain't the function of stopping <laughs> if it the ain't bro don't fix it <laughs> further ending the debate with a cliche rather than a point fallacy of the single cause it occurs when it is assumed that there is a single, simple cause of an outcome, when in reality, There's it many. may have been caused by a number of small There's many, causes. Many, many, many. to the stone. It happens when a dismissal is made by... I don't know how many people can, can think a lot of things they do in life only has like two choices, man. A lot of things... Is Everything you do, there's several different options and causes and effects like at all times. It's not just... It's like when you wake up, you're like, mm, should I go to the store today? Yes or no? Like that simple decision, should I go to the store today? Yes or no, comes out with many different outcomes. Because it's like, if you say no, okay, you're staying in the house, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna clean the house? Or are you gonna play games? Or are you gonna work? Or are you gonna study, right? Versus, yeah, I'm gonna go to the store. Now you have to choose, you know, what time you're gonna go to the store, what you're gonna wear to the store, blah, blah, blah. What you're gonna get, what time of day you go, because, you know, some days are busier than others, or the time, like if everybody gets out of school at a certain time, I really wouldn't choose to go shopping when everybody gets out of school and gets off of work because everybody's gonna be in the checkout line, right? By a so, number of small causes. Yeah, it's a lot. To the stone. A lot. It what happens when a dismissal is made by stating or reiterating that the argument is absurd without providing further argumentation. Ignoratio Elenki. Ignoratio Elenki, also called missing the point, is the fallacy of presenting an argument that may or may not be logically valid and sound, but whose conclusion fails to address the issue. The president's policies on health care may be popular, but he is secretly a spy and should probably be investigated. To in question. <laughs> Circumstantial ad hominem. Stating that the arguer's personal interest in advancing a conclusion means that their conclusion is wrong. Tone policing. An ad hominem fallacy that focuses on the emotion behind a message Dude, rather calm than down, the message you go to itself politics. as a discrediting tactic. Association mm. fallacy. I feel it's like town policing definitely is used a lot whenever uh, you have an actual point and people are using every other fallacy other, under the sun besides accepting the fact that, hey, maybe you have a point or maybe them just listening it, which makes you obviously upset or irate. And then they use the tone pol uh, uh, tone policing. The message itself as a discrediting tactic. It can work. Association I've seen fallacy. It. It's the fallacy that asserts that properties of one thing must also be properties of another thing if both things belong to the same group. 
appeal to accomplish. I mean, that's what people do, also bro. Property. Like, I mean, look, this is what you got to say, bro. Look at sports teams, bro. Sports teams and people get moved around all the time. Like, if you still cheering for your sports team, even if y'all win, y'all not even the same team the next year. So to be like, yeah, we won. I mean, all you can be is proud of is really the city. And that's just because you live there. <laughs> OK, <laughs> of another like, okay. Both things belong to the same group appeal to accomplishment. It's kind of an appeal to authority fallacy. It happens when an assertion is deemed true or false based on the accomplishments of the proposer. Mm. Courtiers reply. When a criticism is dismissed by claiming that the critic lacks sufficient knowledge, credentials, no, or doesn't. training to credibly you can't say that you're not a doctor. Well, shit. Appeal to consequences. It's an argument that concludes a hypothesis to be either we'll true or this false year. A lot based of on whether the premise leads to desirable or undesirable bro, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not how that works, bro. <laughs> appeal to novelty. It happens when a proposal is claimed to be the superior or better solely because it's, it's new, new or modern. Bulverism. The new games suck, bro. It is the assumption and assertion that an argument is flawed or false. Not all white people what? Bulverism. It is the assumption. Not all white people are racist. That ain't true. No, I'm joking. And assertion that an argument is flawed or Hold false on, no. because of the I'm, argument. I'm still recording the video. Your identity. My friend wants to play the snobbery. Chronological snobbery considers modern ideas superior to those from earlier ages just because they are modern. It's a form of appeal to novelty. No, no, no. I don't think that's a great idea because there's stuff in ancient civilization that shows that they were ahead of their time. So maybe there's some little bits and pieces of knowledge that we just don't know about. But if we use it nowadays, we could probably turn into something way bigger than our ancient civilization could have ever done. I'm entitled to my opinion fallacy when a person discredits okay. any opposition by claiming that they are entitled to their opinion instead of logically analyzing said opposition. Two wrongs make a right. It's an argument in which an allegation of wrongdoing is countered with a similar allegation. Vacuous <laughs> a claim that is technically true but meaningless, such as claiming that no mobile phones in the room are on when there are no mobile phones in the room. Fallacy, fallacy. It's saying that when an argument contains a fallacy, its conclusion must be false. If you like this format, check out this video. Well, YouTube thinks that you'll like it. Every great philosopher. Socrates. Oh, okay. We'll do this another time. Let me guys know if you guys want me to check this out. The Paint Explainer. This is a great video. Thank you for sharing it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.